Hey guys, just so you know that this video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. In today's video I'd like to give you a little update on my red harvester ants, as you haven't seen them since the time I got them. Now they arrived, it was a queen and a single worker. Not too long after delivery, I lost the worker for no apparent reason, so I had a lone queen. At that point, I decided to basically just keep hand feeding her with flies and sugars and she did lay a nice bunch of eggs. Now as time went on, because you can see from the first upload video to now, it's been many months. But we did successfully get a new worker and then that worker helped the queen move on to produce a second worker. And this is where we are at now. We have a worker that pretty much predominantly stays in the nest with the queen and another little, much smaller worker, the first worker, technically the oldest, is the one that goes out. And this also retrieves the seeds and the protein sources that I've been giving them. Now, we have a brand new bunch of eggs at time of recording this, so I'm hopeful we'll get some more workers but there's still not enough worker ants for the queen not to need to leave the nest and she's always with even without her workers she's always gone into the outworld herself so i fed her out there and she goes out and drinks she goes out and gets the nectar and she still does that but just not as often but she uh she definitely is way more active as a queen and does leave the nest so a little bit different for me as an ant keeper now i've actually been looking at other people's videos with more established colonies i'm quite excited on what i've seen and i would love to have a colony from like 50 to a couple of hundred i think i would absolutely enjoy that and these are my only harvester ants so you've got to remember that. But I do know that these can grow into much bigger colonies. And I'm also prepared for that. And a little bit apprehensive and excited all at the same time. Um, I've never been stung by them. And I have no plans to. No matter how good the plan is. It never survived contact with the ants. As you can see now. I moved her from her test tube. Into a ant space modular setup. A little set of little modular components from the late ant space shop and this is how I basically laid it out I've got a door that I can close on the Queen's chamber I have two little seed dispensers and they're also using the expansion port in the top of that for their rubbish though I can't quite clean it until they bring it outside and then I'm using a little cylinder Outworld and this is absolutely ideal for them. The isolation door means I can close that and it stops the queen Charging out when I'm trying to clean the outworld um, Obviously this will become less helpful when there's more workers and you won't be able to trap them all in the nest But I'm quite enjoying raising them, but it's a slow process But I understand it once I've got so many workers uh, the population will grow much faster in a boom anyway guys Thanks a lot for watching today's video and I've had a little bit of a cold and I lost my voice. It's just come back and um, I couldn't wait to record this video. I'll catch you in the next one and all the best.